Now I'm going to show you a chart next, right? And I want you to know this stock, the stock you're about to see on this chart, was named by Forbes magazine, which is a US magazine. It was named by Forbes as the company of the year for six consecutive years. So let's go to the chart, right? And you can see the chart here. This is in the late 90s. This stock goes from 20 bucks to 90 bucks, right? And this stock explodes, it quadruples in a three year period. And um, you might be able to figure out what this is by looking at the symbol. Look at the Q and the exclamation point, which tells you that you know the company company went under, right? But this was the Wall Street darling, and it was named Company of the Year for six consecutive years by Forbes magazine. So everybody loved this company. What company is this? Does anybody know? Nobody has a guess? It's Enron. Enron. Now, once Enron peaked, now everyone thought this was a great company. The fundamentals were great. Why were the fundamentals great? Because they were completely made up. But nobody knew that at the time. The assumption was, just like any other company, that this had great fundamentals. So when the stock began to come down a little bit, right? When the stock began to come down a little bit, the analyst said, buy, 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 because, because the fundamentals are great, and now you get to buy it at a discount, right? So that's what, that's what all of Wall Street was saying. Even the company itself was telling its employees to buy, buy, buy as this went down. And for that reason, many of these employees ended up with a worthless um, retirement account. But you and I, if you understand how to read charts, that is not going to happen to you. Right? It can't happen to you if you understand how to read a chart. And how to read a chart is very simple here. Right? Very simply put, we just connect the dots here. And what do we have? We have a head and shoulders, right? That head and shoulders. And there's your neckline. Right? And the thing that I love to teach here is it's really easy to miss the breakdown from the head and shoulders. And it's okay to miss it because very often you get a second chance. You see how you get a second chance right here? To sell short at the neckline and that's one of the things that we focus on we have a complete trading strategy for how you can take advantage of this so we have uh that's your entry point right there around 65 now the whole way down all the analysts are saying bye 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 and you know all the fundamental analysts even the company is telling their employees hey buy more of this for your retirement account why do you think they were saying that they were saying that because the company itself was dumping all the shares that they could. They knew that it was a worthless stock. And this could certainly happen again. We could certainly have another situation where a stock or a commodity, or especially a stock, can become worthless. And um, that's how you, not only, not only should you have not lost money on this, you should have made money on this. No way would you have bought this stock. It doesn't matter what the analysts say, right? The analysts were completely wrong on this stock and that's the important part to remember so there's that stock quadruples in three years as it falls all the fundamental analysts tell you it's a buy 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 the company is telling their employees to buy if you're looking at a chart there's no way you can buy this stock in fact you would have had to have sold short based on the head and shoulders breakdown you even get multiple chances to sell short on the head and shoulders break down the stock becomes virtually worthless which just goes to show you why are the, why were the fundamental analysts wrong they were wrong because there's always something that you don't know okay fundamental analysts gather information they gather all this their information together but they don't have all of the available information. There's always something that they don't know. And because of that, right, they never know 
what it is that they don't know. Okay, there's always the danger that you don't know something. Meanwhile, the chart is simply the price. The price doesn't lie. The price doesn't have an opinion. The price forms certain shapes and patterns and usually conforms to those patterns when they're used properly. That's the big difference for most people. Most people use technical analysis, but they use it improperly. All I'm saying is learn how to use it, not like an amateur, but learn how to use it like a pro. Right? Learn how to use it the way a CMT, a chartered market technician, uses technical analysis.